Thanks for tuning in to Dirty Teeth and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to rattle off a whole bunch of Gucci titanium bike parts and upgrades that you may or may not have thought about purchasing for your prized two-wheeled companion. In all honesty, you probably don't need anything on this list. Yes, you do. But since you did click on this video, there's a good chance you might want to spoil yourself with some of this Thai goodness. Anywho, I'm going to jump around a bunch and move quickly, so I've got timestamps listed in the description so you can easily refer back to any products that may interest you, and I'll leave links to everything in the description as well. Let's get cracking. A super easy upgrade that you can start small or completely go to town with is replacing your stock bolts with titanium ones. But not all bolts are made the same, and this includes tie bolts. So I'd be aware of what you find on Amazon, especially if you want colored bolts. If you're going to do it, do it right. And I've been super happy with a company called Better Bolts based in Southern California. They make every type of bolt you can ever imagine. You can choose from a bunch of colors and they come with a lifetime warranty. Instead of anodizing, they use a special PVD coating process that lasts longer, reduces friction and increases corrosion resistance. I first heard of them a few years ago when I saw that Kate Courtney and her mechanic blinged out her World Cup race bike with a bunch of sweet looking oil slick bolts and they've kind of blown up since then. When I was building my new mountain bike, I wanted some copper accents with my silver components and in addition to adding some subtle color contrast, the tie bolts trimmed down about 50 grams in weight. Not bad. I know some people think that titanium bolts are weak or they'll break easily. But I've been using tie bolts for years and have never snapped or damaged one. There's nothing to be afraid of if you use anti-seize and torque everything properly. One item that may not be on your radar is titanium cleats. Well, Silka makes them, and if you use Shimano SPD, Time Attack, or Crank Brothers pedals, you're in luck. They're 3D printed with a cool internal lattice structure, which increases the strength to weight ratio. Silka claims they have four times the life expectancy of traditional brass cleats. And this Crank Brothers version weighs in at only 22 grams versus 46 grams for stock cleats. That's pretty impressive, but is it worth the price tag? I guess we'll find out soon enough because I'm going to install these on my gravel shoes. They retail for 85 bucks per pair, including titanium hardware. If they really do last four times longer than regular cleats, it could actually be a decent investment. A similar product from Silka is their selection of titanium derailleur hangers. They're also 3D printed with the internal lattice and are supposedly a couple grams lighter than their alloy counterparts. I'm currently testing out their replacement for the SRAM Universal Derailleur Hanger or UDH, which has become increasingly the norm on new bikes since 2019. My scale has it weighing in at 32 grams versus a standard UDH at 27 grams, so it's actually five grams heavier. More importantly, Silka reports their hangers to be five to seven times stiffer than stock hangers, which should translate to more precise shifting. It should also minimize the chance of misalignments and needing minor tweaks after crashes or knocking your bike over derailleur side down. But since it is so strong and the whole point of a hanger is to fail or break before your derailleur or frame is damaged, Silka built in what they call a fracture notch. This is designed to help it sacrificially break under the hardest impacts. I make it a habit to carry a bear whistle for bikepacking and remote epic day rides. It's less about scaring bears away, oh, can I even do this? <laughs> and more about being able to call for help and alert other trail users in case I crash and I find myself immobilized off in the rocks somewhere. I found this nifty little titanium unit from Hefe Bike and it's designed by Nightcore, the same company that makes my favorite cache batteries. It weighs less than 5 grams and has a maximum sound intensity of 120 decibels, which in layman's terms means it's pretty loud. Ah, don't blow it inside. As you can see, I've got mine laced to some reflective paracord and I don't even feel it hanging around my neck. Another little gem I found from Hefe Bike is this quirky titanium out front bicycle computer mount. Let's face it, it's not much different than aluminum models found by the likes of K-Edge and others. It's also not much lighter, if at all. But it's simple and strong and it allows you to mount your Wahoo or Garmin or other cycling computer up above and your light or action camera down below. It's also got a super clean look if you're going for the silver bling factor. And don't sleep on titanium cookware for bikepacking. 
Although I personally don't like the feel of them in my mouth, long-handled titanium spoons or sporks are pretty popular. I do, however, carry Thai pots and cups in different shapes and sizes, depending upon the trip and my needs. I've had great luck with brands like Evernew and Tox products. They're both well-made and they're priced competitively, and they've taken a licking and keep on ticking. FYI, Vargo makes titanium chopsticks, which could probably double as death mud scrapers, and Tox makes titanium shot glasses if that's your jam. Just food for thought. If you're looking for a nice camp trowel, you can get a titanium digger as well. Kuvik makes one I've had my eye on with serrated edges. I've also heard good things about the Tark from Suluk 16 and the Hammock Gear Titanium Trowel as well as the Vargo Dig Dig. So there's plenty of good options out there. One of my favorite tie upgrades is the seemingly simple water bottle cage. I especially dig the Sakuro cage from Silka that I've been using lately. It's made with tubular titanium and is hand bent in Indianapolis. According to my scale, it weighs a scant 31 grams. In Italian, Securo means safe and secure, and it definitely is. I just used it on the Colorado Trail, and it kept my Zephyl Z-Box nice and snug while still allowing it to slip in and out with ease. And it doesn't get deformed like many other cages out there. It's designed around common specialized Purist bottles like this one, but it also works just fine with the Elite bottles that I get from the feed. There's also 21 millimeters of up and down adjustment, which is a nice touch. Let's switch gears for a second, talk about tools. For those of you mechanics out there, there's some beauties available from Abbey Tools. Like their Team Issue Titanium Hammer or their Thai Crombie, I'd personally love this combo for my travel tool bag. By the way, I made this video about what I carry in my mobile tool bag that I keep in the trunk and nobody seemed to watch it. Titanium cranks have become more and more mainstream these days, but they're still fairly rare compared to alloy and carbon choices. Why? Probably because they range from 900 bucks to up over 1500 bucks. But if you're in the market, the radius tie cranks from Boone are pretty sweet, as well as some gorgeous options from 5Dev and SoCal. And if you really wanna go big, Sturdy Cycles in the UK custom makes 3D printed crank sets to order, and they're fitted with a custom machine titanium axle, axle bolts, and extraction cap. Talk about bling. Probably the most mainstream and popular of the bunch are the E-Wings from Cane Creek. Anywho, all of them are gorgeous, lightweight, and stiff, so yeah, I'll leave it at that. FYI, 5Dev also makes an elegant titanium chain ring that will definitely up the Gucci factor of any bike. And so does Sturdy Cycles as well as Boom. So if you're gonna up the ante with tie cranks, why stop there? You might as well slap on a matching ring. I also found a company called YBN that makes titanium bike chains in 10 and 11 speeds, but I haven't seen anything for 12 speed drivetrains yet. Have you? If so, let me know in the comments. A super simple but potentially overlooked upgrade is your headset top cap. There's a bunch of tie options out there, but I personally like the clean look from Bear Claw Bikes. Or if you're looking for a little more fun, the Pain Cave top cap from God and Famous is pretty neat too. You can even get titanium brake levers these days. Check these ones out from Sturdy Cycles. They're available for SRAM Axis and red drop bar setups. And in addition to raw tie, they're available in custom color finishes. Again, talk about bling. How about brake rotors? Yup, you can get those in titanium as well. Check these ones offered by Carver Bikes. Although I haven't found titanium or tie centered brake pads themselves, you can get pads with titanium backings from Shimano or other aftermarket brands if that floats your boat. How about pedals? Well, if you like riding flats, check out the Corky Topo titanium flat pedals. Priced at only 75 bucks, they feature a titanium spindle and body and weigh only 212 grams for the pair. For comparison, a pair of Crank Brother 11 clipless pedals which feature a titanium spindle, weigh in at 179 grams, but the pair's gonna cost you a whopping 500 bucks these days. Another clipless option that caught my eye are the Time Attack 12s, which incorporate a tie spindle with a carbon body. And the Reverse Components Black 1 titanium pedals are also a pretty sweet alternative to the Corky Topo flats. Why not treat yourself to a titanium seat post clamp? Check out this simple and clean option from Thai Cycles, or how about this tantalizing one from Firefly Cycles? I also dig Bear Claw's version, but they're all subtle ways to spruce up your ride. Why stop at the clamp? 
Companies like Moots, Lightspeed, Thompson, Firefly, Bearclaw, and plenty of others are offering up a variety of titanium seat posts in every diameter, with and without setback, etc. It could be a great way to add style and comfort to your ride. Another subtle upgrade is titanium headset spacers. Again, Tie Cycles and Firefly have some nice options as well as Lightspeed. If those are too spendy, I found these cheaper ones on Amazon, so I'll make sure to link to them in the description. Titanium handlebars aren't currently the rage, but if you want them, you can get them. Tie Cycles makes these nice ones. Heck, you can even get a custom handlebar and stem combo if that's up your alley. And if you're looking for a standalone stem, 5Dev has you covered with their sweet two bolt titanium stem. This thing is a work of art, but it's a little out of my price range at the moment. It currently comes in 32, 40, and 48 millimeter lengths, and in addition to a raw tie finish, you can get it anodized in bronze, teal, and purple as well. Bling bling. Also available is the more traditional four bolt tie stem from Bear Claw, which is still pretty sexy. For all you single speeders out there, I didn't want you to feel left out, so I've got a couple special items just for you. Check out this titanium single speed cog from Boone. It's pretty sweet, I gotta say. And if that's not enough, don't worry, you can also slip on a titanium single speed spacer kit as well. You can even get a titanium cargo rack for your prized bike. I've had this one from Carver on my fat bike for a couple years now. It's lived through a couple JP's fat pursuits and an Iditarod trail race in Alaska. It's much lighter than its steel counterparts, plenty strong, and at 350 bucks, I think it's pretty reasonably priced for what you get. And come on, you gotta admit a titanium rack matched to a titanium frame is pretty steezy. <laughs> By the way, mine is obviously specifically made for fat bikes, but Carver also makes them for regular bikes too. Another option is the Tubus Liviano rack available at Tie Cycles. I know everybody and their moms is making various versions of high flow valve stems that are all the rage these days. But if you don't have issues with sealant clogging and regular old Presta valves are fine, then you can always upgrade to tie valve stems like these from Linderettes. They're stronger than aluminum stems, so there's less chance of snapping one off. They're available in natural silver, black, or gold, and you can get various nut and valve cap color options as well. Obviously, I can't cover everything, so if there's any titanium bits and bobs that I failed to mention which you think should be on this list, please enlighten all of us by sharing them in the comments below. By the way, I do my best to read and respond to each and every comment and question. And as a reminder, there are links in the video description to all the products I chatted about. With that said, thanks so much for hanging out until the end. I do hope you'll hit the like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And a super special thanks to all of our sustaining channel members and patrons. Without you, I wouldn't be able to carve out the time to make these videos. So until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward. Thanks so much for squeezing dirty teeth into your busy schedule. Please help us reach more people and ensure you receive new videos by giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, and clicking the notification bell. Until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward.